Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Warner McCrary was an African-American convert to Mormonism who was expelled from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for claiming to be a prophet. McCrary was born in Natchez in either 1810 or 1811 to the slave named Francis and her master, a white carpenter from Pennsylvania. By the mid-1840s, Warner McCrary had achieved his freedom and had crafted a new identity for himself, traveling around the nation as a Choctaw performer, Okatubi. Throughout his life, McCrary was used over a dozen aliases, some of which were Native American. McCrary also described as something as a skilled ventriloquist and musician. He soon married Lucy Stanton, a divorced white Mormon woman from New York, who also claimed to be an Indian. The couple embarked on a journey across the country, performing as American Indians at theaters and medicine shows. They used their disguises as a way to hide their background, justify their marriage, and make a living. In the winter of 1846, McCrary joined the Latter-day Saints in winter quarters, Nebraska, and began claiming powers of prophecy and transfiguration, having the ability to appear as various biblical and Mormon figures. He was excommunicated and moved a short distance, where he started his own brand of Mormonism. Many believe that McCrary's behavior prompted Brigham Young to institute the priesthood and temple ban on African Americans, which existed until 1978. McCrary and his wife eventually settled in Toronto, where they operated a medical practice. The Toronto Globe characterized McCrary as an Indian quack doctor. While McCrary's ultimate fate is unknown, in 1862, his wife, now known as Celeste LaSalle, was convicted of manslaughter and sent to the female prison at Sing Sing. I'm Robert Combs, and that was your Natchez History Minute.